Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at DraftKings stock. Now this is a company I know you guys like to hear about pretty often. So I'm just gonna be making an update on what's happening here with the price action over the last few days. We've seen the price melt off from around $54, looking very strong all the way down to 46, and now breaking out of the purple rectangle that I showed you guys as a very, very key level to watch to show us whether DraftKings is either in an upwards or downwards direction. So I wanna identify that purple rectangle again remind you guys what prices to look at and really show you what I'm watching for this stock over the next few weeks as well as what I think will be happening with the price action on this stock ultimately in the future so guys if you've been trading DraftKings with the channel for a while you know that we made a very big play here around the $50 mark and it was all based on this purple rectangle now like I explained in that video I was looking to buy around 200 shares and even though we did buy them at an unfortunate price we held through the sell-off and like I told you guys this price was going to recover back to $50 very very soon now with that play we were able to come out with a profit but unfortunately as you can see DraftKings has not held up its price strength and I'm very happy that I sold out of my shares now a lot of people have been asking me well DraftKings it's back at $45 is it time to buy in so I want to show you guys exactly what I'm seeing here happening on the hourly chart with DraftKings and one of the main reasons why I'm going to wait on this company I'm not going to be investing right now or at least until I see a fairer price because right now the market is not showing us a clear direction of what will be happening with DraftKings stock price. So as you guys can see here from the chart, the purple rectangle sits at around $47.50. That is the price that is going to have to be broken to really show us a switch of direction for this stock. As you can see, we were growing, growing. Then once the price was broken here on the rectangle, we headed downwards all the way to the bottom price. Then again here, we were heading upwards, upwards, then grew very, very strongly. Once we came into the rectangle, we headed back to the highs around 54 now we're in the rectangle again but towards the downwards direction so that's why I think that it's going to be so key what happens right now guys because this could represent multiple days of selling for DraftKings if this rectangle does break again to the downside guys so like I said the price to watch with this rectangle is around $47.50 or $47 flat and even though this price is broken right now the day has not closed there is still an hour of price time to trade so I think that if price can close above the rectangle by the time price closes today or the market closes today at one, then that will be a very bullish sign for DraftKings. But unfortunately, if the company continues selling off into after hours or even test these recent lows of around 45.50, I think that will be a very bearish sign for the company and ultimately send them into a selling spiral. Now, I am looking to buy into this company again. Obviously, I think that they will continue growing into the future. And I'm very, very bullish on what happens with this company, especially in the long term. But in the short term, guys, if you are a investor on DraftKings, I'm watching levels of around $38 to $40 to hold as the strongest support. And guys, if we do break below this $40, that will be a very, very bearish sign for DraftKings. Ultimately, I don't think we will be able to, but that is where I'll be looking to pick up my extra position on shares. I want to reload on this company and potentially even look to buy a leap contract, which we've been very successful with through other companies like NIO and Tattooed Chef. So I'm very happy with the yearly leap plays that we made so far and I'm looking to get into another one and I think that DraftKings could really be that play if they do try to find support at around $40 like I said guys so that's going to be the next price that I'm watching on DraftKings like I said today's price action was very bearish unfortunately we found new lows below last week's candles so what that means is that the company is still declining in price here very consistently and although we are sitting back at around $47 we are at a very key price where a break below could mean more selling coming over the next few days. So like I said, guys, any price below $40, below $41 will be a great time to load up on shares for this company and potentially even that leap play. So if you wanna keep an eye out on what's happening with the channel, what plays I'm making on a daily basis, as well as my signals and trades, don't forget to check out the Discord link in the description down below. That will be completely free to join and see our daily plays and signals, guys. We have almost 180 members in there, so don't forget to check 
check that out if you're interested. And the link to the trading view, which is the platform I've been using to trade on today, will be down in the description for free use as well. So check that out if you're interested, guys. As always, I appreciate the support on the channel here. This play, DraftKings, I feel like will be very, very great and a very huge opportunity to pick up some shares just a few days down the line here coming into 2021. So this is one of the biggest stocks that I'm watching for 2021 to really show us a great bounce and become one of the first swing plays that we actually make next year. So if you are considering buying DraftKings this week, next week, etc., wait until they show us that fair price at around $40. That will ultimately be a great price to buy DraftKings, especially for the long term. But in the short term, I think that's when the price will bounce very strongly as I'm looking for this wedge to continue validating and potentially show us a break to the upside sometime in February or maybe March of next year. So I will keep you guys very updated with this company as one of my favorite positions to trade here. So I'm always keeping an eye on it. But as always, guys, if you want to stay up to date with what's happening on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And as always, I hope all your plays are in the green.